going to look at how to calculate slope from two points. So the slope, again we use the letter M to represent slope, can be calculated without a graph using two coordinates. Now these coordinates could just be two points, X, Y, that you're given, or they could be two values taken from, two pairs of values taken from a uh, t-chart. So in general, we're given one point, which we'll call X1, Y1, and another point, X2, Y2. And we plug those into this formula, Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2. Two things to note with this formula. First, the Y goes on top. The, one of the common mistakes that people make is they put the X on top and the Y on the bottom. The Y goes on top. Do not forget that. Secondly, subtraction. People mix up the signs and they put addition in there. This is a subtraction question, so we are subtracting Y's from Y's and X's from X's. Now let's look at a couple of examples of actually calculating the slope. So given the point 3, 4 and the point 5, 8, we want to calculate the slope. So here's our formula, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. How I like to remember my points, I'll often put an xy, xy, and a 1, 2. That way there I know which is which when I fill in my formula. So I need y1 minus y2, so that's the 8 over x1, which is the 3, minus x2, which is the 5. So 4 minus 8 over 3 minus 5. Well, 4 minus 8, that's going to give me negative 4. And 3 minus 5, that's going to give me negative 2. I have 4 over negative 2. And that simplifies down to 2. And there is my slope. My other example, I have negative 2 and 7 and 4, negative 9. So my two points get filled in. Again, I'll put those little x, y's on top to help me remember the order. And that's point 1, and that's point 2. So filling in my formula, y1 minus y2. Now notice it's minus negative 9. So I put the negative 9 in brackets there over x1 minus x2. So now 7 minus negative 9 is the same as 7 plus 9. That's 16 over negative 2 minus 4. That's negative 6. And that there simplifies down to... 8 over 3, negative 8 over 3, and there's my slope. 